Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here. So today we're going to be taking a door panel off of a Chevy Express van. So the first thing you're going to have to do is pop this. As you can see, it'll be in behind here. All you need is a panel popper. Uh, you pop it forwards and then it comes right off. Right here is your door handle. The best way to remove this, so I have a video on it, but it's with a door handle removal tool. And you're just going to squeeze in behind here. And you're going to want to push this clip forwards. You can also do it if it's like this. You have to squeeze the door panel in and you can try and get a hook pick in there and pop that clip forwards. So after that's out, put that off to the side. And then you're going to need to take a bunch of panel poppers. So one, you're going to pop right here. And then two, you're going to pop towards here. And as you can see, there's three clips on the inside and one right here, but the goldie is still in there. So you pop that out. The next thing you're going to see is two Phillips. One here, one here, and then also you're going to want to take the skin off of this. So right there, and then there's going to be one right here behind the handle. And then after you do that, you're going to get in here with your uh, hands and your panel popper and pull. And you're going to hear pop, pop, and you're going to pop it all the way around. And after you do that, you're going to lift it up and out. All right? So again, just make sure you get these two Phillips and these two Phillips. And then uh, after you do that, you're just going to pop the clips like so. It's just really tight in there like that. Boom. And you're going to do that with all these. All right. Go for it. Hey guys, how's it going? So as you can see, it's really cool with these boxes actually give you a red and a black so you know which one to go off of. These Hertz speakers did not come with speaker leads. Good job Hertz, I guess. No, they should have came with speaker leads. Anyways, so, um, all I'm going to be doing from this point is putting these speakers back in and tying them on. You can see the ridge. I just got to make sure that the wire goes through there. Anyways, so that's how easy it is. You're just going to do this to the other side or we'll bolt these in. It looks like these holes are actually going to line up, which is rare and sick. If they don't line up, I will throw in my own self-tapping screws. But other than that, just do this to the other side and you've got new speakers inside. So if you are putting in a new head unit, be sure to check out my head unit video. I'll post that right here. Other than that, if you found this helpful, press the like button. And of course, if you want to see some other stuff that I do, press the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.